Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna play another standard event trying to farm some packs and gems and farming packs and gems we do because we do get seven wins with zero losses with Golgari 7-0 standard event. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's go to the deck list. Alright, so this is the deck we're gonna play today and we do get 7-0 with and you might think, wow, the curve is actually f***ing horrible, but uh, no, don't let you get, let, let's not get fooled here. First, this one goes over here and this one really goes over here, so it looks a little bit better now. And uh, yeah, a lot when you're playing, Golgari midrange is popping off, uh, yeah, relatively common and we're gonna face a couple of them, but they are all failing. Uh, they're putting all their eggs in all the regs into this basket right here it's a virtue of persistence seven mana enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep put target creature card from graveyard from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control and with an adventure with two mana target creature get minus three minus three until the end of turn you gain two life so we have a lot of Gulgari decks with a lot of removal and they the, they use this one as a removal and then they try to win with this and shield it in the end but sadly even though it is a cool card and we are playing four of it because it is amazing it ain't got shit on this card right here and uh, you know this one this is breach the multiverse seven mana each player mills 10 cards for each player choose a creature or planeswalker card in that player's graveyard put those cards onto the battlefield under your control then each creature you control becomes a phyrexian in addition to its other types so yeah i'm not gonna lie i face a couple of uh, <laughs> golgara decks and they do play this and they finally play it out but this gives you nothing the turn enters the battlefield it's sweet to have an extra thing attached to your adventure spell to your removal spell but as itself it's not very good because then they would play this the virtue persistent i'd play breach and breach would find a titan of industry and it would just nuke this and yeah and that would be it or i don't know breach is i don't know why we're seeing so many golgar decks and they don't play breach breach is just amazing and yeah, the other two mana spell, I mean, Herd Migration, of course, is a win condition, but mostly you're going to use the two mana channel ability to gain three life and fetch a land. It negates a whole turn of damage, an early turn of damage against Mon Red. Hence why I like Azusa's mini journeys as well, because if you're on the draw against Mon Red, this is the only card that can save you. It's a, you know, two mana chapter one, you may play additional land this turn, so hey, suddenly you can play one of your tap lands out and you can kind of compete since you're on the draw, which is the biggest factor to lose in a standard event, in a best of one game. Chapter 2, gain through life, which negates the damage from turn 1 or turn 2 against Mono Red or Mono White. So that's amazing. And then you get a 3-3, which can most can trade with most of the aggro deck's creatures, right? So yeah, and then Stomper into Invasion of Zendikar, it's no joke, obviously. And uh, yeah, because turn 3, Stomper comes out, you fetch a land. So turn 4, uh, you have 5 lands in the battlefield, you cast Invasion of Zendikar, and you get 2 more, now you have 7. You activate the Stomper, and you can attack into Invasion, you flip it, and then you have enough mana to cast everything. And since we have so many ways to fetch basics, we do have, of course, Drag to the Bottom, which is the best board wipe, because... Yeah, Indestructible doesn't... Well, yeah, I think it's better than Sunfall, even though Sunfall costs 1 mana more, but... Yeah, turn 4, against, turn four or turn 5 against an aggro deck is a big difference. So yeah, that is the deck, and we, like I said, we don't get 7-3, 7-2, we get 7-0, oh, we beat every single one of them. So yeah, let's go to the first f***ing game. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you, and it helps the channel out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, please give the video a like and possibly subscribe. That would make my day. Alright, let's start the first game. All right, we get to go first, and this hand is fine. Three lands and an Azusa, and Herd, I mean, oh, I'm fine with this. Against Noah, dude, this wave is gonna fuck you over, mate. All right, so you even Mulligan, that's really bad. If you're on the draw and you have to Mulligan, it's, it's... Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Mono Red with Kamano. He's not having a bad hand. Uh, but yeah, for me, it's like... Oh, look at that, see? Now we can play Azusa and get the ta tap land out. Uh... Let's go with, uh, I want to go with the Takamura because I'm pretty sure we can use the Poseyo against the opponents. You know, come on if we really have to, if we get flooded, for example. Yes. So now we get a tap land out with uh, Azusa. Okay, adversary is annoying. It's, yeah. It's fine. Take three. And Blast Zone is really good. So we are going to play, we're going to play the second Azusa out. And uh, we are going to play, we're going to play the Poseyo. 
and uh, use the herd migration to fetch a land. I think that's a good idea. And yeah, and uh, we will have gained 12 life altogether, I think. Or no, 9 altogether with the herd migration plus the two Azuzos. So I mean, yeah. And we just have to find another land and we win, essentially. Okay, Phoenix Chick, sure. Alright, that's it. It probably has Lightning Strike then. So yeah, like... Monstrous Rage, okay. Sure, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna save the blast one for now. Maybe place another one drop, who knows. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Oh yeah, you did. Okay, so now, uh, so here's a good example. I'm gonna use her migration here. I gained through life, which essentially means that he didn't have, he didn't attack with the bloodthirsty adversary. Because it's three damage, plus I get a land, so. Yeah, it's like a tiny little fog and gains some, gain some life and land. Oh, this is perfect. Right, so we found, uh, so let's just, uh, let's just use the persistence here on the adversary and pass the turn. And yeah. So one more land and, um, yeah, this breach is gonna, coming out to play. Swift Spear, sure. And what do you have left? Lightning Strike. Okay, so technically this board doesn't look really good for me, but... Do you, do you want to know how good Blast Zone is? This, this one land I have here in the corner. You know, do you want to see what he can do here? <laughs> do you think this will trigger him a little bit? And hey, we didn't get the land, but we can fetch a land with Herb Migration. Oh, come on, dude. Did you get soloed by a land? Okay, we get to go first. That's fine. We don't have any of our ramp. We don't. Um, we don't have a Zusa, but we do have herd migration, and we have to rash, drag drag to the bottom. So, bring it on, Taito. I wonder if Taito's playing Kaito, <laughs> or if he's sitting at his keyboard at all. One eternity later. All right, here we go. So let's get the cottage out and pass the turn. So yeah, I, I honest. Okay, another Golgara deck. I think Golgara is by far the most fun thing to play right now. So see Azusa, we play out another land. I mean, how is the opponent supposed to compete with that? We're way. We already started, and we had Azusa, and we're gonna fetch another land with her migrations. So we're gonna. Uh, we're not gonna stumble land, and then next turn we're gonna play Invasion. And what is interesting too is that the best part of this deck would be Stomper into Invasion of Zendikar. We haven't done it so far, and we're still doing really well. So let's play you out, and the next turn, if we get a land plus invasion, we have Titan out. So uh, the the Dread Knight is cool. If I was gonna make a more early mid range, mid range slash slash aggro kind of uh, Golgari, I would play it. So, but in, in these decks, I mean, our top end beats his top end, and he's not. I mean, we have we have twenty, we have more life than we start with. I mean, how is he gonna? He's not doing well in killing me. Uh, let's get these two out. The red is the last one I, I want to get. We do use the red for maximum damage with drag to the bottom, but for sh uh, for attracts, we only need blue and white. Yeah, we're only playing three copies of Titan. Oh, there's the virtue. That's his top end. Yeah, it's not going to beat my top end. Um, here's the breach. We just needed a land. So, I mean. If you don't get land, if you get land starved, any deck's going to lose. Uh, and I think he's purposely holding, holding removal. So I'm not going to use my... My cottage is too important right now. I'm not going to squander my way of winning. But if I find a land next turn. So I'm just going to use Virtue here to kill his uh, Dreadnought. Dread Knight. The Death Knight. Arthas. And yeah. I mean, we can activate it, but we have to pay for itself. So it would be tapped. So it's not a good idea. So yeah, stumbling on land is not good, but he's not going wide, so these drag to the bottoms. I mean, they can still kill a Shieldred. We have exactly enough lands to do that. Turtle is really cool, but Turtle is better in Simic than... Eh, maybe. Maybe I should make a Sultai. I love Simic. I like Golgari. Sultai should be the next home. Okay. So we're not, never going to find a good use for these drag to the bottom, and I don't want him to attack me down, so we're just going to use it and kill that. Yeah, Simic is really, really cool, but instead of the virtue of persistence, you have the the whale, I mean... Okay, so here we can play the titan, but I think we're going to be greedy and use breach instead. 
I mean, if I don't find my Titan, it's kind of bad. But yeah, he played. He spent his whole seven turn to play. Oh, we didn't get Titan. <laughs> hey, Nissa. He spent his whole turn seven to play this enchantment. He got nothing out of it. I played my uh, Breach and I'm getting my, my treasure here. Oh, another breach. Oh, look at that. And uh, yeah, this is not very bad. And uh, I'm just gonna like use his own planeswalker and nuke this. So, I mean, yeah, how like, yeah, that is not a suitable win condition. I'm sorry. Virtue is like an accessory win condition. Okay, opponent gets to go first and we have all tap lands. I guess this is the worst situation. And if he's playing aggro, we are El Facto. Okay, cool. We're not. But hey, <laughs> we got ramp. Sadly, it's the ramp we needed with an untapped land, so it's not great. Do you have your hopeless nightmare? All right, so we can toss one of our Azusas. I don't think we're going to use both. Drag to the bottom is kind of useless. Uh, so yeah, this is not a, uh, an, an amazing situation, if I say so myself. It is kind of a bad situation. And the yeah. has really nice sleeps. Oh, Liliana is not good either. Hmm. Uh, I think we're going to toss the next Azusa. Azusa is like our way to get back against aggro this is not aggro this is just discard which is kind of annoying discard can beat us pretty easily uh but he's gonna have to use his um liliana to kill my stomper here let's get the blue land uh he's gonna use that and then hopefully we find a land so we can activate the cottage and just beat L liliana with the man lands liliana became a lot worse it's just uh, how it is throat sure and he's gonna make us discard. I think we can get rid of the drag. It's scary, but we don't. We only have one land type. We're gonna get. Yeah, I, I think we're going for the wind condition here. So let's play out the invasion, and let's get uh, the other lands we need: white and red. We already have so many black sources. <laughs> it's funny. We have uh, for the domain colors. We don't have green and black. It's a little bit funny. Okay. Why didn't make me discard? Big mistake, opponent. Why did you not do that? Alright, here's Breach. Okay, Shouldered is nice. I'll be taking that. And Attracts, I'd, I'd love to refill my hand. Thank you, deck. Uh, let's see what we have here. Mm, so good stuff. Yeah, Breach is always fantastic. We got some uh, Restless Cottage, some Titan. Yeah, I think this is fine. Sure, your go, opponent. We need to find... I mean, if he makes me discard, I'm going to throw away the herd because it's only making three tokens. Uh, so maybe we should have taken a different land. It's fine, it's fine. Hopeless Nightmare, sure. You must have removal, though, right? You have to have ways to kill my... Uh, well, it's it's your shoulder and my attracts, huh? He's going to negative it, and he's probably going to kill whatever is left. I'm guessing... I guess he's gonna attack and try to... Don't you wanna attack this, please? Please, don't you wanna attack this and potentially, potentially trade? Uh, no, I do not. You can have it. Your shoulder can go back to the graveyard. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not blocking that. Don't worry. In case it's out of mana. Holy lolly, dude. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Up shit creek without a paddle. Should we just go for virtue here? I mean, we are obviously attacking down the, the Liliana here. We're not going to spend our turn with the uh, Cottage and uh, Tracks of the Face. Uh, we're going to play a big spell here. So let's just go with Breach again and just have some maximum damage to the opponent. Oh, another shield, but I'll take that. Oh, look at this. A Stomper, a Dinosaur. We could get Liliana, honestly, but it's just being an asshole. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, how will you deal with this opponent? I'm curious. I mean, you have a nice one. We got a couple of one drops here. If I get a blast and just smash them all, it'll be funny. But, you know, Endless Nightmare is good in the graveyard. So yeah. All right, cool. Black, Golgari, and red. What's next? All right, we get to go first. Uh, it's not bad. And we have untapped turn two lands for Azusa, which is really good. So yeah, pack Lia. See what you got, mate.
Well, that's an easy win. Turn one, he lags out. This Gandalf did not take... <laughs> oh man, his dementia doesn't know what to do. Okay, so... Yeah, he must have lagged out. Unless it's a strategy to see what I do, but... Yeah, on the play against whatever he is... Ramping, and he missed one turn. I mean, there's no way we can lose this, right? <laughs> right. Ah, right, well. Oh, I guess we're waiting some more here. A few moments later... Man, oh man. Well, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 he's there. Okay, Mono Red on the draw, missing turn one. Good fucking luck, man. This is, you know. Yeah, yeah you see her, but uh, you should just, just uh, concede. Well, you know, if he keeps on this game, I mean, he's a fighter, so. I mean, we have two. <laughs> we have so much removal. This hand is not kind to him. Uh, we do need another black source, so. Uh, we can get the white one too. Doesn't really matter, but black source it is. All right. Sure. Turn two. Do you have your Felden, your adversary? What else do they have? Lightning strike. Hey, Felden, and I have the card that uh, you know deals with him without <laughs> dealing any damage. Okay, cool. So we're getting a little land fucked here. It's it's not good. Um. Hopefully we can find... We haven't had a single game with Stomper into Invasion of Zendikar. Which is usually how you win with this deck. But... I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. We don't have a fucking clue. Okay, Lightning Strike, sure. I mean, good job, Azusa. You absorbed uh, three <laughs> some damage and you gave me three lives. So I was, you know, six damage negated, essentially. I mean, bro, you're getting land starved too. Just concede, Gandalf. You're not ready. <laughs> Please, I mean, I have such a high ground, you have no way, man. Uh, cool. Alright, so we play you out, we activate our stompers. Can get our last final basic. And we play you out. Or, you know, snuffing out the last piece of hope. And here we go. If you turn this game around, I will quit magic and I'll make a poster with and pray to your name every day. Play with fire, sure. I do not enjoy this game. I mean, I thought I would love smashing, like, beating the crap out of Mono Red regardless of the circumstances, but this is not fun. This is not fun. I'm not enjoying myself at all here. I am not that sadistic. But, you know, don't ever take pity on someone. Make sure you smash them. That's the, that's the greatest respect you can do to anyone. Just smash them. Don't ever, like, pretend. Give him the benefit of being a great opponent regardless of what's happening. So, yeah. It was a good game. Okay, we get to go first, and yeah, this hand is it's pretty good. We have... We, I see six lands coming up very fast against this opponent. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's dance, Monorad. That's the third one, I think, so far. The, uh, the second one was kind of unfair. I mean, honestly, I feel this is unfair, but there's so many times you're on the draw. Yeah, it's nice. There's so many times you're on the draw uh, against one red and you don't get to ramp out and it feels so unfair. So this, this is good. This is good for my mental well-being. Uh, so yeah, so Azusa gave me three life, negate his entire attack from previous turn. That's a good uh, Azusa is. Uh, do, not dis <laughs> do not discourage or disregard Azusa ever. Disrespect, that's what was the word I was searching for. And yeah. Then next turn we can use, if you find a land, herd migration comes down. If you don't, we use the channel, gain 3 life, and almost negate his entire, like at least half his damage on turn 3. And then we play Titan, gain 5 life, and make it 4-4, four, four, and the opponent just doesn't know what to do anymore. Sure, have that. Cool. I don't even care that you brought me down to half my life total. Uh, so yeah. Stomper into Virtue. And, uh... Game is over us for the opponents. I'd like to gain two life, please. And kill your creature. I'd like to play a 4-4. And, uh, you know, kind of win. 
And the greatest thing is that the way the opponent can beat this is like flying over with a stupid Gadric, whatever it's called, but fucking Titan Vindustrious Reach. He will find, uh, Jeff Bezos will find all the good deals. You can't fly over him. He will take you. If you're starting up a mom and pop shop somewhere in a rural fucking South Dakota, he will buy that shit and make it and open up his Amazon super house right next to it. Okay, cool. You killed my dinosaur. Oh, uh, do you have like your monster's rage here or what? Okay, just casting monster's rage on someone like that has a, weak, a roll token is not very good given that, you know, the roll token disappears. I'm going to go with Titan here. Talk as much about Jeff Bezos. Just watch him eat up the industry. Destroy the Kumano. Destroy it all. No, no unions allowed. Okay, hand is good. No ramp, but we have a lot of removal. So hopefully we're playing as an aggro deck against my cat hates you. All right. I mean, so do you think? Cat fucking loves me. What are you talking about? Thousands of tears later. All right, finally stopped stroking his cat, and it's we can start playing. What do you have, opponent? What took you so long to think about? <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen this before? Hmm. Perfect. So let's just uh, snuff that out. Let's uh, remove his creature and uh, be at a higher life total than we started on. Because <laughs> you know that's good for the opponent's uh, mental health. Fell done. Okay. Oh wow, that is beautiful. If you get a, if you get a, even a tap, any type of land, we have one next turn. Uh, we can go with the black land here because we do need a second source for the drag to the bottom in case we have to use it. I doubt it. And we're going to fetch more lands next turn, so it doesn't really matter. Do you have your Godric? Or your Squee? What was it called? Gadric? I know there's one of you who's asking for a mon red deck from me, and it's coming. I'm just. I am in my last year of medical studies, so I am in the hospital all goddamn day. And then I get home, I get like one hour to do this, and then one hour to edit. So if you like the videos, we didn't get the land, fuck me. But uh, so yeah, I I know if you want requesting decks, I mean, do so in the com in the comments below. But right now, it's so stressful. Uh, this is my like mental breakdown. <laughs> Make, no, no, mental uh, break, not the breakdown, hospital's breakdown. Like I'm in pediatrics right now in the oncology unit, which is the saddest part on planet earth it is really really sad the kids are so cute but fuck me it's sad oh my god and the parents can barely hold it together i get home and my girlfriend is in a different country because she needed surgery so i'm all by myself in this empty apartment and all i have is like and then i have over a thousand five hundred pages of a summary i have to read before this monday where i have my final exam where two one neuro pediatric neurologist and one pediatric pulmonologist is gonna grill the shit out of me. And yeah. So yeah, uh, your decks will come. I'll do it for you. But yeah, so if there's something wrong with the editing, with the sound or something, I've uh, someone complained to us like, you have to keep in mind, this is not my, this is, this is my hobby. This is not <laughs> what I do. For, like, this is not uh, uh, my, my source of income. This is just a hobby. If you like and subscribe, please. Uh, so Koth is uh, going to ultimate. Uh, so maybe... And I don't think we can do anything about it. Uh, can we... Do we have the mana for Virtue and Attack with a... Yeah, we do. We can, do, we can just Virtue and Attack. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, we don't have a second black source. Oh my god, the cottage is the black source. Fuck me. Okay, that was a mistake. So now he's gonna ultimate a Koth. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when you don't pay attention when you play. Uh, I still think we got it. I still think so. Yeah, you're gonna deal four damage. God, Koth is so good. I should make a monitor deck. Monitor no, I'm not gonna do that. Someone asked me for a monitor deck with actual, like, proper meta crap. So I'm gonna do that. I did make a Monterey deck. I made a Monterey deck spells and we did pretty good. I think we got four or five wins with it. Not playing the meta, playing just our own version of Monterey. 
where we burn the shit out of the opponent. Some of the opponents. Okay. Alright, so it's time to... Uh, Atrax, I think. We could also breach for Titan Ministry to gain life. So I guess we go for that. And, uh, hey. Asking you shall fucking receive. We could also do Atrax for the lifelink, but I think Titan... I mean, he can't ramp into multiple... Oh, Godric's pretty sweet. Um... Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a, yeah, it's gonna have haste and flying. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I guess 4-4 four, four and 5 life. Because we're every time he plays a mountain and he has, like, a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and kill his, uh, stupid cough. I don't want him to fetch more mountains. Good. Uh, yeah, so this is the, probably the worst game because I messed up, but, I mean, look at this. I mean, what are you going to shoot? I mean, um, I guess a token instead of my face. But yeah, when Atraxa is going to come down, or I can play out my Virtue and fetch my other Atraxa in the graveyard. It, it's pretty good. Okay. Well, let's go for maximum damage. Oh, uh, Virtue, that's pretty sweet. Um, Stompers, nice. Heard migration for more life if I need some Poseyu to destroy whatever he plays. Then it's enchantment. So yeah, let's we'll just remove this. Thank you. Thank you for participating, Charming Scoundrel, but it's time for you to go home. And yeah. And we can play you out. And we can hold... I mean, he's not gonna deal a lot of damage. We can do this. Actually, let's go ahead and attack here. And then next turn... Okay, if there's no next turn, but hey, good game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I did not expect it. I, mean, I know Golgar is good, but not this good. I mean, let's go for 7-0, guys. Let's go. All right, opponent gets to go first. Damn it, I knew, I, I knew it was too good to be true. But we do have Breach, Herd, and Azusa. So we have... If it's playing Mono Red, we're not that dead. Okay, Black. Okay, that's pretty good. Black is uh, giving us, you know, they, they're doing the mistake of giving, uh, giving us time to play our deck, which means we win. <laughs> um, yeah. To be fair, I think this deck does not... Oh, it's Golgari again. To be fair, I don't think this deck do, uh, do so well against control, like Azorius, Catafoxes, and... But against Azorius, we do have the Cottage. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, like, I guess we can get, if they, we find the one, you know, control player with, uh, Kai, uh, what's it, not Kaito, um, what's it called, Jace, yeah, I guess they could kill us. Either way, um, yeah, so as you can see, we're ahead on land because we ramped and the opponent didn't, because the opponent's playing, uh, uh, worse, Golgari. Uh, so I guess we heard migration plus Azusa, so we ramp as much as we can. And this way, we're going to be up to 29 life, uh, life. Uh, while having, you know, these two big motherfuckers in our hand. So hopefully, I mean, yeah. If we find a uh, Stomper or uh, Invasion, it's just over. Or, a, a, you know, Lance. And we have, hopefully, plays out his shoulder here in turn four. I mean, that's his win condition. It's not that good, but he has it. He has something because he did not attack with his land, so he's going to play something. Yeah. Oh, they always have it. I bet you feel pretty good about yourself. And, uh, yeah. Tap land we can't use anyway. And we do have... <laughs> yeah. It's a shame we're gonna lose our Azusa, our Azusa here, but it's fine. What is really cool about Azusa is you can also use it to destroy the invasion, flipping it. So, yeah, that was my removal spell. Got rid of everything. The Dread Knight is really cool, though. The Dread Knight... <sighs> There's a deck for it that I could probably use. I don't know which one, but I'll figure it out. Liberator, sure. That's fine. Uh, I think... Uh, we're just gonna attack with our Restless Cottage. He doesn't have the mana to deal uh, with it. I'm, I'm not gonna use Drag to the bottom an Outland Liberator. I think he's gonna attack because he's gonna turn to Knight, kill my Azusa. Can eat this. I mean, it's bad with a uh, breach, but I'm sure he's other creatures. It's fine. Um, what we say? Yeah, he's, he's gonna kill Azusa and feel really good. And I'm tapped out. He's gonna play a second shoulder because you know they have it. They can't just have one. And then we play direct to the bottom and kill it again. So that's the goal. 
It'd be really cool if he uses Outland to kill my treasure and attacks and I trade. But it's probably not going to come to that. It's probably not going to come to that. Okay. Sure. He's going to destroy the sea. Yeah. My seeker, no! Okay. <laughs> there it is. Oh, dude. Oh, man. It's almost like the deck is telling me something to do here. Do you have enough board wipes? Would you like another one? Thank you, the deck. You're the best. No problem, average gamer. I'm doing everything for you. You are the best one. Oh, thank you so much. No, you are the best one. I kind of wish I was a homosexual because then I'd love you. Okay, okay, it's fine. All right. Dude, relax. I've had someone ask me that when I was doing my last year in college in the United States. And someone thinks that uh, if you're blonde, you're naturally swinging for the same team. But if you know where Sweden is, you know, there's not a lot of sunlight there and then you turn blonde. All right, let's go. Let's gain some life here. And uh, do you think we'll kill? Oh, look at that. Land. Ah, uh, let's get the Titan out. I'm sure he has a... Because here's the thing. Why I play the Titan before I play the Breach? We only have five creatures, right? We have three Titans and we have two Atraxes. And we have Stompers, of course. Uh, but this way, I'm sure he has a removal spell here. And then I'm going to play Breach and guarantee I have a Titan in my graveyard. So it's a way to do this. And I also get his children, which is kind of funny. Sure. I still have a 4-4 with a shield counter on it. I mean, gut gemacht. Bon chance, Mr. Plot Twist. That's a, it's a sick name, though. I'll give you that. Mine is just kind of... I picked my World of Warcraft <laughs> character name from long ago. Long ago being Legion, which was... It doesn't feel long ago, but I guess it's like two expansions ago. I haven't played the game since then. Legion was really sweet, though. Two of Argaris was really fun, and then I quit. Oh, it's just playing magic. So yeah, he has a pretty sweet board here. <laughs> Another Titan. And he didn't eat my uh, Titan with the rat. Why the fu Maybe he thinks I have a Shigeki, but even though, isn't Titan more important? It doesn't matter. Sure, I'll kill both of them. I don't understand why he just didn't use one. Because he would gain the same effect. He would destroy my shield counter and he'd have one on the board. So if I didn't have a board wipe, uh, he could attack me back for at least seven. But I guess we're not doing that. Even if he attacked me with seven damage, I would have higher life total than him. So it's kind of funny. But yeah, the rat is gone. The rat actually was a threat, but the rat took the wrong card. Kind of funny. Okay, another Dread Knight. And a turtle. Turtle is so cool. I want to find a deck where he's good. <laughs> no land. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with your turtle or tortoise. Sorry. Goddamn. Oh, I'd like uh, an Atraxa, please, to refill my hand. And you know what? This uh, Shieldred, uh, I mean, which one should I take? Mm, they all look so nice. Let's do this one. Uh, we could do... No, not Glissa. Let's go Shieldred. Yeah, so your go <laughs> opponent. I hope you have a lot of removal spells. Uh, and, you know, I have a Virtue here, too. So that's kind of funny. Oh, no, no, no. We're getting hurt here. Land. Uh, actually, we can get the field here for his cottage. Alright, opponent. Dubist run, your turn. <laughs> Good luck, bon chance. Oh, whiffing on a turtle. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sure. That's fine. It's a shame we didn't find another breach with the Atraxa, but hey, if we have another Atraxa, we'll just try again. Sure, land. You don't want to save it for my virtue? Okay. So here we are again, guys. This is why Virtue is not a good way to be your top end. Because here comes Bezos. He sees your mom and, pop, mom and pop shop and he buys it out and Hadouken. makes his uh, fulfillment center there. And that's the end of your win condition. Your win condition lost an E2B effect of my win condition. 
So yeah. And your Shieldred is killing you slowly with a Majora's Mask soundtrack in my head, or if sound effect. So what's your last card? Sure. What's the last thing you got? Probably a removal spell. Maybe as a... Oh, he could have a Virtue that he wants to use uh, to um, kill my Titan here. It's fine, I guess. Uh, so maybe we don't block. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, doesn't really matter. And I don't think they have any board wipes, which means her migration is really good. Let's just attack here. It's over. It is over, Anakin. It is very, very over. Sure, you gain some life. Doesn't matter how you block, you're still dead. If you block, uh, block my two creatures without trample, you take seven. If you block the creature with trample, you take more than seven. So. Actually, you take exactly seven. Yeah, it's a good game. And hopefully a good lesson. Play Breach. Alright, so 7 0, guys. That's 500 gems, 3 packs, and a player end point I'll never use. So I kind of wish we could use the player end points to buy packs, but that's not the world we live in. Uh, so, yeah, even if you did the player end points for the arena thing, uh, and if you got to keep the cards, like, uh, but it's always Phantom Drafts, it's bullshit. So, yeah, this is my favorite deck. Uh, yeah, maybe one more attracts would be sweet. But, I don't know, it worked kind of well because you don't want to whiff with Breach, but Breach can still find, you know, uh, <laughs> the Stompers. We still have creatures. I mean, Breach and Stomper and the opponent's Planeswalker creatures are still pretty good. So, yeah, I would probably put another uh, tracks in, maybe. Uh, maybe go down on a land or something. I do want another Swamp because we don't need it, but we did get, we did make an oopsie against that Mono Red player. Still won, though. Uh, so yeah, that's the deck. It's my favorite, my, the best deck I have right now. You, you play it, improve it, and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching until the end. It, it, it does get fucked by a control, just you know. Control fucks me. Thanks so much for watching until the end. You rock. Like and subscribe, and... Have a good fucking day!